Hey guys, Anders here with another video. This time I wanted to make a quick kind of preview guide to the new marketplace system we're going to be getting. It's called the Central Market. And uh, you're going to be basically trading and buying and selling through this new system that hopefully will be implemented soon. Um, it's almost done on the test lab servers, which is where I am right now, Global Labs. And uh, essentially the way you access this marketplace system is through uh, the main menu uh, central market will be here you can kind of see what items are listed here okay or if you want to register items and such you want to go to the marketplace director at your city and uh, click on the central marketplace button and there you go you're in the new marketplace system um, a couple things i want to go over uh, it's completely different to the marketplace system we have right now um, it's a lot better in terms of uh, how it works uh, essentially right now in our old marketplace system we sell things on the market and then another player buys that item that's it um, we get taxed of course and that's how it goes player to player trading in a sense now this system is different in the sense that you are now selling to the marketplace and then the marketplace is selling that item to someone else so it's sort of a player to marketplace to player transaction uh, what that means is that you are now getting the silver immediately so uh, essentially instead of having to wait for items to sell they will immediately sell kind of like um, I guess special deals after an item doesn't sell for a long time you get the silver but in this case it would be immediate so the way it works is uh, we have the marketplace system here it tells us we have uh, half a billion held in the warehouse. I'll explain the warehouse in a, in a second. It also says we have uh, 154.1 units out of 5,000 warehouse capacity. Um, that means that uh, our warehouse capacity, we look at the managed warehouse. This is essentially all the items that we can sell, okay? Um, so the way you register things into the central market warehouse is by having them on you and then registering it onto your uh, warehouse so let me uh, take this back for example uh, this axe right so this is my inventory right now my character uh, you can auto arrange it and you can also uh, select the storage balance so if you have money in the storage of that city you can also deposit that into the warehouse balance the warehouse balance is what you use is essentially like the storage money you use to buy things on the central market Okay, you can't use money from your storage in the city. You have to use the money available to you in the central market warehouse. You can deposit from the storage, of course, and from your person, um, but that's just keep that in mind. So say we have this ax, we wanna sell it on the market. So first we have to put it on the warehouse. So we just right click the ax to put it in our central market warehouse. And we'll tell you, okay, successfully registered. Okay, and now we want to go to the marketplace and then select register item. Now this will show you everything in your warehouse. Uh, if, it, if an item you wanna sell is not in your warehouse, it's in your inventory or in your storage, it will not show up here. So you have to first um, place the item in the warehouse and then you can start selling stuff. So we have a, a couple things I've bought just for testing purposes. Say we have this uh, young crimson dragon, right? Marketplace value right now is 134 million. Uh, so let's uh, left click this and it'll bring up this window uh, standard price right now is 300 mil and there's four registered on the central market uh, you can select what kind of price you want this will not influence how much money you get for selling this item okay this will just kind of um, fluctuate the, the market value of the item so we have four av available to us um, but we're just going to select one to register and um, it will tell us the uh, total sale price of 300 million say register item and then you have sold the young crimson dragon for 253.5 uh, so around 250 million um, after taxes and that's it you automatically have that uh, money as you saw our balance held in warehouse has increased because we've sold it and that's it um, if we want to buy things, we have to search for it. 
Uh, the search um, box right now is broken, so uh, that will be functioning uh, obviously when it comes out. But let, let's say we want to buy that back, right? Young Crimson Dragon, we look at this, it will tell you um, Young Crimson Dragon right now, the standard price is 300 mil. Uh, there have been 4,000 trades of this item, and there are 4,000 registered. That means there's 4,000 on the market for you to buy. Um, you can select the desired price you want. It will tell you all the different um, uh, price brackets that you can buy. So obviously you want to buy the cheapest one. So you want to buy 300 mil right there. Okay, so you can select the item grade. Obviously um, it's just a, a pet right now. So there's no item grade. And uh, it will tell you exactly how much you're going to be purchasing. And it will use your balance. So say we want to purchase it. And there you go it used the balance and it told us that we have purchased it if we go to our warehouse uh menu here it will tell you a, a history of what you've purchased and what you've sold okay and it will be in your warehouse so we had three now we have four another thing to note is that if you're looking to buy weapons uh so main weapons let's go to i think there were a bunch of crossbows and stuff okay so we want to buy a crossbow there's the elsh the aswell the ein the seleth all these different types right it will tell you if there's any on the market right now and uh, historically how many have sold of that type uh, there's zero registered for as well crossbow so um, it will show you that there's just nothing to buy you'll notice this plus zero plus seven I'll go over that in a second um, let's go to the Elsh crossbow here there's five listed in the market but you might be asking okay wait a minute it says plus zero to plus seven what does that mean um, how many of each are available well now weapons and armor have brackets uh, when you sell and buy them so if you sell a plus five it will be sold as a plus zero to a plus seven bracket you'll get the plus five value of course and um, when someone wants to buy that item you'll see that they are buying the base here at Elsh crossbow plus zero it's 23,000 it will tell you you can select the item grade so you can select the level up to plus seven Okay, so say I want to buy a plus seven, I can just buy a plus seven now and it will just add the amount um, of stones that I guess it would cost to to do it yourself. Okay, so you're kind of saving stones in that way and you're paying a little bit more uh, for ease of convenience. You can choose how many you want, but it will still be limited to how many are available at that bracket. So zero to seven is a bracket. I believe there are two more brackets above that and um, it will work for all armors and weapons except ex uh, sp special items there's a list i'll show you here um, uh, these items are special and they don't adhere to these rules but yeah um, say okay so we wanted to buy this elsh crossbow uh, at plus seven of course we just want to purchase it there we go and done we purchased it and that's that um, Pearl items, we don't know how they're going to work yet uh, because of the way they work now is essentially there's no time until when they're registered and uh, pre-orders matter here as well. So pre-orders will actually push the prices of items higher or lower depending on the, the, the pre-order amount. And that means basically items like logs, rough stone, milk, uh, let's see if we can find any, I doubt it, but... Uh, uh, materials like rough stone here uh, standard price is 840 there's no register on the market so you we can pre-order this um, from the from the market and I believe we can pre-order on the regular market and it will show you here um, so the higher the pre-order the more likely that that item will reach its market value so if people are pre-ordering rough stone for ten thousand a piece the price of rough stone will increase to close to that and then if pre-orders drop below the market value for example um below like nine thousand then the prices will start going uh down on that item so it's a way for them to try and push items that were are generally useless to sell like milk uh, rough stone logs those come to mind you don't want to sell them because you can make things out of them that will gain you more money um, but now they might be able to just sell them straight and, and make 
more money or, or equal amounts of money to what um, you, you needed to do before. It's a pretty good system. It has some work. I think in terms of uh, wrapping your head around it, it's a little confusing, but um, hopefully I made this a little clearer. Uh, if not, you know, don't don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments. I'll try and like more carefully line out what happens. Uh, of course, things are changing uh, every week here on the Global Lab, especially for this mechanic. Um, so keep that in mind. Things may change in the future. So if something I said is incorrect later down the road, um, just uh, I'll try and do an update if it's really serious and, uh, and give you an update on, on what they've changed. I expect this to be coming out for our servers uh, probably in the next uh, week or so in Korea first and I think in other regions um, within a month or so. It's not it's mostly done honestly uh, the search bar needs to be fixed of course uh, the, the register item thing needs to be a little bit more fluid as to uh, what they mean by that because uh, if we exit this whole thing we still have the marketplace up so the first thing I did was okay well let me try and register an item wait no this is like the old system I'm confused my listings wait a minute um, I don't understand uh, where's the new stuff <laughs> it wasn't very apparent to me uh, so the central market button maybe needs to be a different color or something or if they're gonna keep the old marketplace system uh, maybe separate it uh, somehow uh, if you try to access the central market through the uh, menu system like I, uh, I tried to do over here uh, and you can see the items but uh, like the typical marketplace menu system you can't actually buy anything right um, if you have a maid that is a marketplace made, you can indeed uh, pre-order, register, and buy things from the central market. Um, so that works as you'd expect. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. If you have any questions, as I said, you know, don't hesitate to, to ask them in the comments. And I'll do my best to answer and make things more clear. And that's all I'll have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in the next one.